So most people I would think, talk about uh, fair chase and would think maybe anything that gives the hunter an unfair advantage over whatever it is they're hunting. You believe that? Because I think that's a bunch of crap. Well, howdy, everybody. I'm on my way actually to the barber. Can you tell I kind of need it, like, in a really, really bad way? Uh, yesterday, uh, you know, the, this vlog, I'm going to tell you, I'm, I'm going to try something different. And the reason why is because I'm about ready to quit doing vlogs. You may be thinking, okay, what? That's good or that's bad. And the reason why is because, like, you know, I... It's hard to do, number one, because I am a very busy person. I, I do a lot of stuff all day long. Uh, I gotta take the time to do a vlog. And so what I decide I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to do a vlog a different way. And Michelangelo in my office, he's a, a wonderful young man. And we're very blessed to have him on our team. He said, look, why don't you do a vlog and answer a question? So I thought that's a pretty good idea, you know, answer a question. So what kind of question would it be? Well, why don't I answer a question that I get asked by lots and lots of people. And that question is, what is fair chase hunting? What is fair chase hunting? So what do you think? All right, so think about this, fair chase hunting. We're gonna talk about that today. So most people I would think talk about uh, fair chase and would think, well, anything that does not, well, let's put it this way, maybe anything that gives the hunter an unfair advantage over whatever it is they're hunting. You believe that? Because I think that's a bunch of crap. Now, if you believe that anything that gives the hunter an unfair advantage over the hunted, you know what? I think you should stop hunting or you should maybe actually reconsider your definition because if that's the case, then every one of these critters in here, I've had an advantage. Thank God. So I'm gonna go in and ask Johnny what he thinks fair chase hunting is. Hmm. Hey there. Hello, how are I you? I got a question. First off, every morning I walk in, the guys, I do that. Our hands. Shake hands, okay. We don't believe in social distancing here. We like hugs and everything else. But uh, I got a question for you. Absolutely. Real quick. What is the definition of fair chase hunting? Pure fair chase. It's hard, isn't it? It is hard. It is uh, hard. Rocking a stick, maybe? Yeah, rocking a stick. Now, hold on a second. So, look in Johnny's office. He's got that little pop gun right there. And, you know, of course, Johnny likes to kill these turkey birds. Okay? Didn't kill them with a stick. So, what do you shoot turkey with? A shotgun. Do you think that's fair? I kill them out to 60 yards, so I don't know if that's fair. I don't know if that's fair or not. Here's another goodie he's got in here. This is an air gun, okay? It's got a piece of thermal equipment on it. Oh, yeah. Johnny, what do you think about that? It's a pretty badass that's, gun, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. We have killed the hell out of stuff. You you look across our YouTube channel. We got a bunch of stuff going down with this. Is that fair? That's definitely not fair. It's definitely not fair. So, But you know what? But it is cool. So yes, is. let's keep talking about this. Okay, so as I'm kind of walking through the office, I want to show you my place while we're doing this. But, uh, and here, well, look at this room here. This is my conference room, and you start out here. These are a bunch of white tails, all not fair chase hunted, by the way. Um, there's a turkey, that wasn't fair chase. Okay, we got a, of course, a tar I shot it up on the uh, mountains up in New Zealand. It wasn't fair chase either. I, I, I want to show you something. I got down here, bears and buffalo and more deer oh and i got actually some awards can you believe that these are awards and i can't believe they give awards to people that didn't hunt fair chase yeah it just, just pisses me off to no end that uh we've got we've got people these keyboard bullies that are out there thinking oh god you, you know this isn't fair chase really really okay so Got javelina and there's a wolf skull back here. Oh, <laughs> let me show you this skull. That was fair chase. <clears throat> yeah, see, 
what's up. Well, it doesn't look good. It's not fair. No. It's not fair. <laughs> not fair. Okay, so let's talk about being fair. Okay. Uh, you won't believe how many emails I get from people on our uh, from our YouTube videos about you know uh, they're they're constantly complaining. I mean, it's like the it's the uh, the internet police for hunters, and I think, are you kidding me? Okay. Um, I mean, I, I don't deliberately do anything wrong. The name of our show is The High Road. It's probably backwards, okay? The reason why it's The High Road, because I believe we all ought to take the high road in everything we do. And that means whether it's at home or school or work or play, including hunting, we ought to take the high road. And that means doing the right thing, okay? And there's something that uh, I look at and I think, uh, they're hunters. Thank God. First off, you, if you're watching this, odds are you're probably an American, but we have distribution because of YouTube. We're all over the world. But in America, we're free for the time being. Okay. And that means we're free to choose uh, how we hunt. And I'm so sick and tired of hearing bow hunters complain about gun hunters and gun hunters complain about bow hunters. You know, bow hunters say, well, it's not fair to use a gun to kill an animal. Well, it's legal, isn't it? Yeah, but it's not fair. Okay. And then I hear gun hunters. Well, it's not really right to shoot an animal with a stick because it doesn't dispatch them quickly. It's like, oh, yes, it does. You just got to hit them right. Many bow hunters think that crossbows are not fair. Why is that? Can you tell me why? Okay. I would think, I remember back in the day where if you had a compound bow, that wasn't fair chase. But now all of a sudden it's fair chase. I think, you know, technology is something that has come across everything and you can't step stop technology whether it's with cameras or whether it's with a, your vehicle or a computer you can't stop it and humans all of us we we strive for more technology i think well technology doesn't uh, deserve a place in the hunting world really really technology deserves a place in the world period in my opinion and so we we're lucky enough to have a guy by the name of timmy edwin come down now timmy edwin special he is the president of the American Fair Chase Hunting Association, or the hunting club, okay? But he is the daddy when it comes to American hunting fair chase. And so we had him come down. And uh, anyway, I, we kind of played through a couple little scenarios to try to find out exactly what fair chase was. And here's what he had to say. I was supposed to meet Timmy Edwin right here. He is the president of the American Fair Chase Hunting Club. And I guess he is a no-show. I have no idea where he is. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Where have you been? I've been standing right there the whole time, half uh -uh. a day waiting on you right there. You walk right by me. And what see kind me. of camo is that? It's Acme Invisitree. It's the best I've ever seen. One time, I hid from my mama for a half day. She never did find me. Timmy, that is some kind of awesome camouflage. Oh, oh, seriously, awesome. every hunter wants to be camouflaged. Yes, but my do. question is, is hunting with camouflage, is that considered fair chase hunting? I don't know, Keith. What is fair chase hunting? Well, I don't know, but I would think the president of American Fair Chase Hunting Club would know. Well, you'd think so, but I guess I never thought of that. Well, you know what? Why don't you give that some thought? In the meantime, until you can come up with what the real answer is, just shut up and hunt. Shut up and hunt? Yeah. Shut up and hunt. I like it. Okay. Shut up and hunt. Okay. So when you start talking about, ah, you're not fair chase and, and this and that, I think, define fair chase for me, bud, please. I mean, I'm sitting here thinking, because I'm confused. I mean, Timmy Edwin can't tell me what the definition of fair chase is. Maybe you can, okay? And I'm telling you, most people out there, they, they, now, let me tell you, Timmy Edwin, we wound up actually put him on our television show. And we put it on and put it on and put it on. And then all of a sudden, I started getting response from people who said, you need to take that off. And my question was, why? They said, because it makes me feel uncomfortable. But why? Because it makes me feel uncomfortable. But why? Because it was picking on you. I think we're all guilty of it. What is fair chase? I think that if you wind up doing something and it doesn't feel right, more than likely that's not fair chase to you. But it may be fair chase to somebody else. So the way I look at it is I embrace all forms of hunting as long as it's legal, as long as it's ethical, and hopefully it recruits more people to wanting to go hunting. And so when it comes to fair chase, okay, I struggle with trying to find a definition for fair chase. And I think fair chase is in the mind and it's in the heart. Some people say it's like the sniff test. I say, what does that mean? Well, it's like, okay, you gotta take a whiff and if it smells bad, it's probably not fair chase. 
What do you think? How far is he? 30 yards. Okay. Here it goes.